Hello, people of Earth. I am back with more Let's Play Resident Evil Outbreak File 2. Today, we shall be playing Underbelly. And I'm not going to be playing as Cindy. Not again. I'm going to play as Kathy. A different costume for Cindy. Great. And my team shall be George yes. and Kevin. We're playing on normal mode. Okay, let's start this level. Um, oh, too many zombies out there. Fair enough. Hi, George! And hello, a handgun. That's good. It'll come in useful if George annoys me. Hello, by the way. Um, I have a terrible problem starting up these Let's Plays. I mean, if the first thing you say is utter gobbledygook, people are gonna tune out, so I have to be very, very careful. Come on, George! I see a bin! What's in there? Nothing. Well, that's a bit disappointing. So, George, I'm a nurse, you're a doctor. Do you want to buy some pencils? Well, I think he's a doctor. Or a university teacher, one or the other. I don't know. Oh, a cute apron. Very nice. Come on. Yes. What? What is that? Sounds like she's holding her nose together while she's talking. Do it again. Come on. Yes. Help. All right, enough of that. In fact, never speak again. Right. I'm just searching around, checking everything, because it's a good idea to do that in this game. A folding knife. How useless. Dirty note. A B R Q A. Oh, I see. Okay, A B R Q A. That's a zero. D C K L T. D C K. Yeah, it's just like dot to dot. That's a five. I think. Yep. Okay. E F V U. M N E F V U M N E F V U uh. Oh I see it's a free uh. G H X W O P G H X W O P G H X Yeah Free free. Okay, so it's O five free free. No problem. O five free free. O five free free. I kind of wish I had a pen now, but there's no pens near me, and even with the very very long loading screens, which luckily for you I'm going to cut out, I don't want to risk getting up to get one. Speaking of which, uh oh. Hello zombie. Oh, we're in the toilet. And may I just say it's filthy. Wow, who are you? A dead rail worker. He's not dead, he just smells bad. Nope, too many herbs. Come on. Um, no. Yes. <laughs> you see, I work my way around problems. Come on. <laughs> I thought I told you not to speak. Yeah. Well, I have to say, even though she's an alternate costume for Cindy, she's no Cindy. Cindy has hair. So, these are the women's toilets. And what are you two doing in here? You're the worst women I've ever seen! What? I just picked up a wooden pole. I didn't want a wooden pole. Are these for drying your hands or buying... Oh my god. They are! Yuck! Disgusting, I'll have none of that in my videos. 
Hello. My name is um Actually, I can't remember what her name is. She does have a name. A girl's name too. Cuz she's a girl. Oh, there you are, Kathy. I bet that guy gets up. Any second now he's going to go, Oh, I'm going to wake up. Go on, get up. I dare you. Yeah, all right, I'll leave him there. I don't want zombies getting up trying to kill me, Kevin or George. Especially Kevin and George, because I want all my herbs. I want them all for me. And I don't want to share them. Oh, burst handgun. I love that. Brilliant! This is a good gun. I don't really know my. Oh, you go. I don't really know where I'm going. This is another game which is sort of half blind. I played most of it ages and ages and ages ago. Long enough for me to have completely forgotten most of it. But I'll get through it. Luckily, I don't tend to get lost. I'll play this game, I'll work everything out, and I'll remember everything. Because I've got a photographic memory. 0533, 0533, 0533. Gee, I sure hope that I don't forget that password by the time I have to input it. That would make me look really silly. Nah. What is in here? Shiny thing? Employee area key. That looks important. Assault rifle there. One of them can take it. Oh, I see a typewriter. Yay! God, this game's so quiet. At least when I get around to playing Resident Evil 5, I'll have loads and loads of epic music to back up my voice. But what have I got here? I'll tell you what I've got here. I've got George standing there in a suit with his shiny shoes. Come on, let's go. I believe... There's a doll up here we can unlock. Come on. Yes. There it is. This will lead to the employee area. Uh, I hear zombies. <laughs> There's one just ahead. Hi. Where are we? Ooh. There's a red blinking light combination. Oh, here's where Damn we can put it. the thing in. Oh, five. Hey, you. Free. Free. Ha ha. Well. You see? Even George is surprised, I remember. Oh, zombies. Son of a bitch! Did you just say son? How could you? I'm going to have to shoot these zombies in anger. Sarah, so, you're a zombie. How's that working out for you? Right, so we got some recovery medicine out of that. Very good stuff. But now I can't pick up my herb. Oh well, if I ever need it, I'll know where to go. Ah! Why do they keep trying to give me folding knives? I don't want them. Let's go. have another door I want to unlock. This one! So I can get rid of the employee key. Huh? Oh. Okay. Right, well we can get rid of the employee key. Da -da -da -da. Boring! I can't be bothered reading it. Oh, look. More toilets. Oh, got a green herb. Did I pick that? Oh. Um. I need to use a green herb. Not you. Hey, George. You're on caution. Let me heal you. Power of the green herb. There you go. All better again. And now we can go and get the green herb. And I will. Oops. No, don't want to do that. There we go. Okay, let's go. This room is boring. 
I sure hope that this next room will be really interesting. Huh! We're in the men's! A long pole in the men's? What are the odds? Oh yeah, test. Right, okay, that's a password for a locker. So we need to go and find a locker room. Let's go. It has been ages since I last played this game, but I still remember bits of it here and there. So, fear not, I shall get through this. Oh, this is it. This is the room where we need to input the password. Okay, let's go. T... It. What the hell is Kevin doing? T-E-S... Test. Kevin, you gone mad. But, we found a key! B2F key. Huh? Get out of there! I believe that in here is another special item. <laughs> Beautiful. Now, what else is there for me? No! Let me out. No! Stop it! For God's sake, Kathy, sort yourself out. You're weird. And so is Kevin for trying to walk into me. A subway cap. Wow, more special items. We're on fire today, and we're not even burning to death. Yeah, I don't really like anything else in here. Oh, what's that? We don't have a shotgun. Bye bye. Come on. Yes. Let's just run somewhere. Oh, door. Oh, I'm a bit lost now. Um, blue herb, lovely. Boring. I don't know why they write such long files. No one's going to read them. Time doesn't freeze when you're reading a file, and that's why I decided to figure out the combination when there's no monsters. Hmm. I want this, but I need the space. So. Somebody, take this. Nice one, George. Now, give me my key. Hi. Hi. In a game like this, I mean, it just seems too much effort to read all these long files. You have time. That's why this game's so awkward, though, because you've got so many puzzles that can only really be completed with the clues from the files, you need the time to be able to think about it, especially when you've got monsters trying to attack you. Storage room. Hmm. Oh, we've got a key for that. Virus gauge on ten. Come on. Oh yes, I remember this area being quite a pain, because you run quite slowly down the stairs, and you need to be able to escape certain creatures later on. And the only way to stop these creatures from attacking you is to distract them with this. Hi. Just like the leech monster in Hive Scenario is attracted to the blood. So we've placed that down now to prepare for the future. And free up some space. And it appears that George has stolen my recovery pills. I'll let him have those. I, on the other hand, will take these herbs. Damn. Too many herbs in my case. Let's go. Hello. Eww, zombie. Ah, yes. How could I forget this room? This room has caused me some trouble in the past. You'll see why in a minute. I need Kevin. I want to free up an item space. 
Kevin. Oh, down time. Come on, let's go. Come on. This room's a little bit dark. And there's something in here. Ah, it's on my back. Get off me. Oh. Horrible. Gone mad. Yes, I have gone mad. How horrible. Well, I think I know where I'm going now. Sort of. Yeah, this next area involves us draining some water. And this is where we turn the power on. But we're not going to do that just yet, because the moment we turn the power on, the water will become electrified. And that won't be very good when we're trying to wade through it, because we'll get zapped. And that will slow us down. And when there's zombies in the water, you want to be fast. I'm going to leave my magnum ammo there for later. Oh, actually, um... Hey, Kevin. Stand still. I'm going to... There you are. Nice and cured. And I'm going to take this. Great. Let's go. And we're going to turn on the power afterwards. Yep, we've got enough room for a red herb, too. Let's go. I've got magnum ammo and a magnum. What? George, you just picked up the magnum ammo, you stupid... Oh, no, man, let's go. Ideally, I'd like to strategically place everything in its own special place so I know exactly where it is. Nice try, zombie. Right, you see this water? This would all be electrified if I turned on the power. It would make my hair stand up on end. Uh oh, zombie followed me. Pipe is cracked. Right, we need to tape that up later. But first, let's drain this water. Got away, Kevin. This is my big moment. Damn it! Okay. All the water is draining. And that means we can progress. Beautiful. Well, that's good news. Right, let's go. Whoa, no, 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 no. You can't do that to me. Don't you know who I am? Okay, great. No more water. And that is an important item. We're going to have to get that later. After we turn on the power. Look at all these open ventilation shaft things. I wonder if anything nasty is hiding inside them. I sure hope not. Let's turn on the power. Let's go. Come on. Now, we need to go and unlock some more doors. How exciting. I'm afraid this is one of those levels that starts off quite slow and eventually we get into it. For zombies, shall be replaced by something a bit more weird. An horrible. There we go. I'm all better. I hate being on caution. It's okay. I know where I'm going. Now I've turned the power on, I need to go back to that room. Up here. Right, we can't get in there just yet because we need to turn on the main power in the room up here. Ha, huh, you're rubbish. Here we are. The place where we turn on the power. All distribution points should be set to 10. Right, so 2 plus 8 equals 10. 6 plus 4. Right, we need a seven there. I'm gonna do this. Oh yeah. Ah, brilliant. You see, behind the guise of a horror game, Resident Evil is very educational. Come on, gang. And 
now we should be able to get into this door where we shall find some tape for the pipe. Hello, any zombies in here? Nope. Doesn't seem so. Okay, that's good. Shotgun rounds. I don't have a shotgun. Here we are. Here's the repair tape. This is what you need to repair the pipe. Hmm. But I want my lighter. It might come in handy later. Hmm. Uh, I, I say, would um, would anyone like this lighter? George, maybe? Anyone? Someone take the lighter. Please? I don't want to leave it here. Fine. Be that way. You're all utter gits, and I hope you'll die horribly by the end of this level. By which I mean I hope you don't. Okay, time to go and tape up the pipe. Come on, Kevin. Come on, George. We're going to go down these stairs. Come on, to the pipe. Only there will we find our salvation. Yeah, I might as well take this green herb. I see a zombie! Now I don't see anything. Get away. Kevin, get away. Duck! Du oh, no. Badly timed. Too bad. Now. No, zombies. Um, tape. Excuse me. <laughs> Don't kill me. <laughs> um, put that. And then, no. And use this. Over here. Damn it. I think we use that anyway. I don't know. Um. Oh. What on earth did I do that for? I unequipped the handgun. How silly of me. Oh dear. Okay, take that. Now, if you excuse me, I need to get out. And pick up this. Founder's emblem. Come on, people. I don't really know where I'm going, but I do know that I need to go to the train to put this weird emblem in a door. So let's go there. Hello. That's me doing Kathy's voice because her own voice is so frightfully terrible. I hear zombies. I see a zombie. How dare you? Take that. To me, Kathy sounds like a cartoon weasel. Go on, do your cartoon weasel voice. Come on. You see? Right, I'm going to go and get myself a sandwich now, so I need to save the game. Sandwiches are very, very important. Right, okay, let's go. Hi, Kevin. No. Oh, wait, hang on. You need to read something first before you can use this. No. no what are you doing? Come on, let's read these. No. 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 Okay, right, I need to go and get the file. That was lucky. I nearly forgot. Right, we don't have very far to go. We've just got to go in here. Whoa! That wasn't very nice. Excuse me. Move. 
All right, where is it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, not that one. This is it. Two emblems. Right, great. Ah, oh, how do I reload? Mm. What happened? I'm too used to the buttons on Resident Evil 4 now. Hey, great. Right. Before we go into the next section, what's this? Recovery medicine. Why not? Nope. I have too many herbs. Let's combine these. Whoa! Where the heck did he come from? He didn't even knock. Come on! Excuse me. Let's go. Back to the train. Down here. Right, now we should be able to put this weird face thing in this train. Uh oh, what's going on? Ooh! It's a giant flea! Oh, that's not very nice. Let's run. And put a face thing in here. You followed the manual and inserted the emblem. Well, that's good, because without the manual, you would have gone. I can't work it out, it's too complicated. Just make it work! Okay. Hi, Mr. Flea. Yeah, alright, alright, I said hi, I don't want a conversation. Leave me alone. Go away! I'm trying to pick something up. I said... Go... Uh... Way! Oh, for God's sake. There's a thing on the side and it wouldn't let me pick it up. And it doesn't help with this guy not leaving me alone. <laughs> That's more like it. Shotgun. Oh. What's going on? I hear a train come in. Better go off the track or we'll end up like Heather in Silent Hill 3. That won't be very nice. So... Let's just wait around here. Behind the yellow line. That's it! Kathy will be perfect working in the train station as an announcer. She can do that. Here it comes! Oh my god. I forgot to bring an umbrella. I found a special item umbrella on the decisions decisions level. That would have been ideal. Never mind, it's gone off now. What? Huh? What happened then? <laughs> I guess I was just too close. I was standing behind a yellow line, what more did they want? Never mind. We found the second emblem. That was a stroke of luck. Right. Come on, let's go. I've got a emblem. I've got a shotgun. Everything's going right for me. Blah. Horrible flea. And George is wearing it as a scarf. Nice scarf, George. Luckily, my character has the ability to do this. Which is good because it gets rid of all the horrible things trying to jump on you. And we've detached the trains. Great! We can now ride these trains out of here. Right, I want to reload my gun. Uh... Do you want a gun? There we go. 
Kathy is a very, very fair nurse, administering guns to all that need them. Okay, here we go. Nope. No, I don't want a wooden pole. Whoa. He got attacked by one of those giant insects. Oi! Where are you taking him? Give George back! Hello! They've kidnapped George. Come on, Kevin, let's go. We've got to go and save George. He's been my friend throughout this game. He's been a really nice person. <laughs> Don't you laugh at me whilst I'm telling you how great George is. He's brilliant. Better than you. Oh, shit. Don't swear. Kevin, or whatever kind of name that is. George is a better name, because he can say it in a silly voice, like, George? <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, George, he's okay. Whoa! I just got attacked by a load of acrobatic fleas. Possibly from the circus. Wow! Look at that thing! He's a big flea! Duck! More shotgun rounds. Good! Now, I'm quite safe standing here, shooting him. If you stand in front of him, he'll just attack you. Okay, okay, so you got a bit of a blind spot. You can't really see the acrobatic insects, but shooting this guy is the main priority, so I'm going to do that. He's dead. Come on! Oh my god! The train is coming any second now. We better get on it. Can't miss that train. Apparently, the train will be departing shortly. I'm not quite sure about that, though. It might just be a rumor. Oh, God. There's another big, um, hat fleet. Right, here's the train. Oh, no. I've gone the wrong way. Damn, at this rate, I'm going to miss the train! I just can't seem to maneuver myself! It's too hard! There's too many insects! Get off me! You get off me! What? What? What's going on? Did I miss my train? Oh no! Whatever will we do now? Ventilation tower key. I better pick that up. It was shiny after all. Shiny enough to attract my attention. Come on, George. If that is your real name. Yes. Where's Kevin? Oh, there he is. Right. I'm not going the train way. That's the easy way out. I'm gonna go this way. We need to get back to the place where we found the valve handle. Huh. Look at that. So excited. Oink. It's so annoying trying to dodge these guys on these stairs. That's why I put the blood down. You just walk really slowly on the stairs for some reason. Huh. Where are they all? Okay. Shooting them with a gun works as well. Come on, everybody. We're going to go through the ventilation tower. Then we're going to escape. We're going to go home, have a nice cup of tea, and wait for all of this to blow over. Ugh. Get off me. Nice one, Kevin. I've always said you're a great guy. Much better than George. This game isn't about what you can do for your AI partners, but what they can do for you. Hey! Come on! Damn it! Damn it indeed, matey. You're a 
all just caddies and distractions for the enemies, but it's the only fair way. Now then, let's go. Someone help me. No. Hey, you. Every man for themselves. Not that Kathy's a man. Get off! Bloody insect. Get off! Bloody insects. Get off! It's so annoying trying to dodge those things because when you're walking down the stairs, you walk at about one meter per hour. Yes, I know, it's slightly my fault on the account that I'm too stingy with my bullets, but I have rights! Now, this place is horrible. Too many insects. I might need that. What's this? Rubbish. No, not maybe. Definitely. It is rubbish. It's a piece of concrete. It's not very useful when I've got a shotgun. Now let's climb up this very long ladder. Here we are. Brilliant. We got a horrible fleet. The shotgun. Hmm. I don't need a shotgun. This shotgun's good enough. It will get me through the rest of this whole level, I'm sure. Now, where am I going? Where am I going? I'm lost. <laughs> Maybe this way. Oh, button. Let's press the button. Yeah! I just did something. Doing stuff is a good thing. Hmm, should I, shouldn't I? Should I, shouldn't I? I'm gonna cure myself. Hmm, should I, shouldn't I? No, oh, that's why I'm equipped and stuff. Solid. Too lazy! Let's move! Good idea. Long ladder. Why don't you just jump off? Go on, jump off. It'll be fun! Hmm, deja vu. But then I do get deja vu a lot. I've been here before! It's my bedroom. But I've been here before. Right. We're at the bottom of the ladder. Small payload elevator. Oh, rubbish. Ow! Leave me alone! Another ladder. I never saw that last time. If there's one thing I like, it's ladders. Hello, Mr. Flea. What's wrong? Can't get me. That's what happens when you're too short. <laughs> um. Oh, there's too many ladders in this place. How many ladders do you want? I know this game's set back in the 90s, but can't we have some sort of Elevator? <laughs> It'd be funny if you attacked my character and I went all the way down. It'd be a very, very quick and effective way to get to the lower level. Kevin, you swore again. Stop it. Now, what was the point of coming down here? Let's have a look. There's no way past this. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, there's the thing we lowered before. The model train wheel. That looks important. I'll replace it with that. Let's go. Can I go up? Nope. I guess it's just to be a bridge. Okay, let's go and see what the other ladder had. I saw another ladder. Where am I going? Oi. You will be shot. Whoa. That was satisfying. Now, I'll take this, although I probably won't need it. Come on. Come on. George? Kevin? Come on! Hey, you can't wait there. That's not fair. Get away from me. Whoa. 
Oh. Not had enough, have you? Uh, Get off me! Bye-bye. Whatever would I do without the duck? I like ducks. Ducks are good. I like to walk around in an invisible duck costume with my normal clothes underneath. It's the height of fashion in England right now. Oh, what's that? Oh, I don't have an assault rifle. And Kevin's on bleed. That's not good. Never mind. We're nearly to the end. We can make it! Varus Gage on 40. Come on, Kevin. Hurry up. This isn't like Resident Evil 4. I don't have a knife for close encounters, so it's very dangerous. Hey, Mr. Flea. Oh, look at that. This must be where we put this. Get off me! Oh! Ladder! Let me up. I want to go up the ladder. Haha, yes. <laughs> look at them, they're so cute. Oh, look at the moon. Oh. I've got to get a grip on the situation. Looks like we didn't make it out of town after all. Oh well, there'll be plenty of time to be depressed over this once I'm out of here. Well, that's not a very hopeful ending. Kathy would have said differently. She would have been like, <laughs> Okay, rank B, 63%. Three out of three survivors, lovely. Five special items. Oh. Well done, Kathy. Although that's a rubbish amount of results points. Then again, I have completed this one before. I'll show you the other ending when you get on the train next. Great! Well, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you in the next ending, which is going to start right now! <laughs> it was such a relief to breathe freely again after that ordeal. We got lucky that time. Getting out of the city is still a long way off. I can't give up now. So, that's it. Underbelly. Rank C. Just over half an hour. Three survivors. Four special items. Not bad. Thank you for watching, everybody. And for those of you not watching, but simply using my voice to lullaby you to sleep, this is for you. Right. Well, good night, everybody. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!